Assalamu alaikum, I am here with a new video and today's topic is how to comprehend a passage. So first I am going to tell you the tips or you can say tricks and at the end we will do some kind of uh, activities. So before moving towards the tips or tricks we have to understand that what comprehension means. So the word comprehension means the ability to understand what you listen or what you read. Okay, and uh, there are different kind of passages like we can say unseen page, po uh, un unseen passages, um, poem, you can say uh, any kind of report or magazines, newspaper. So there are different kind of passages. Um, for comprehend any kind of passage we need uh, certain skills. We require certain skills like logical ability, analytical ability, reasoning ability, reading speed, vocabulary power. Now we we have to move towards the tips and tricks. So the first trick is read the passage as fast as possible. So when we appear any kind of test, so there like in English. Uh, subject there is a one section about the reading comprehension so uh, there is a limited time so in limited time we have to comprehend the text so we need to read the passage as fast as possible the second is get involved with the paragraph to understand it so your focus you have to pay attention towards the uh, towards the paragraph like so that you can understand it easily third is Underline important lines or part of the passage to answer the question. It is really important and we most of the time we do it like underline most important lines or you can say mo most important word most important part. So it will help us to understand the main idea of the passage or you can say you sometimes you can understand the tone of the author or you can say uh, uh, mood of the author. Fourth is Try to translate a complex line in an easy one in your own words or you can say in your own language. So this will actually help you in analyzing the main idea of the paragraph and in seeking the cause and effect of the passage. So if you if you stuck anywhere, try to um, try to translate that particular line or particular uh, part. Next is underline or mark the keywords this will like help us to discover the logical connection between the keywords or in, the, in that way we can we can understand it better way next is try to understand some certain unfamiliar words by reading the line thoroughly like when we start that if our vocab is not as much good so we uh, we um, stuck somewhere because of we don't know the meaning of any particular word so what we have to do we have to read the line thoroughly uh, like before the uh, line uh, read the line before the particular word and after the uh, after the particular word so in that way we have to um, understand the meaning of that part word so it's it's just kind of a trick like whenever you stuck so don't uh, leave that part uh, without understanding okay next is determine the main idea or tone or mood like uh, like reasoning and other details from the paragraph next is do not assume anything based on your personal belief so it's important point like uh, our beliefs uh, we our beliefs is based on our experiences so our experience is different from the author Okay, so in, in, in that part, in that uh, experience, author ex actually make her, his or her belief. So that's where we do not uh, assume anything based on our personal belief. Next is look at the paragraph when in doubt. It's simple. Read the question and all the alternative provided and choose the most appropriate one. Another is if, um, if there is title so first try to uh, look at the title of the uh, passage and generate the idea from the uh, title and if there is a the, uh, there is a picture so look at the picture very carefully try to 
get the idea from the picture and then move towards the uh, words now here is a um, exercise and this actually uh, passage taken from the past paper of uh, uh, ECT uh, requirement uh, test and um, basically it was held on now 18 November to, uh, 2018 I think yeah okay so first we have to understand and uh, keep uh, keep in mind mind the tips or and tricks and follow those tricks and tips so there is a one bird was sitting on tree near a stream so look at the main character like bird so highlight the bird and near stream it was looking down at the water below obviously looking down water below suddenly it saw that aunt was sinking the water so another character it was trying to get out but the water was flowing very fast so basically it he was uh, sorry she was trying to get out okay so the bird quickly drop a leaf so what uh, bird did so bird actually drop a leaf in the water near the aunt the aunt climbed on the leaf so climb on the leaf looks up as if it was thinking the bird for saving its life so it's all about from the birds for the aunt now look at the next paragraph a few later a few days later so highlight this point the bird was on another tree and was eating its food it looked happy okay as if it is was enjoying itself it did not see that a hunter so another character hunter was going to shoot it so here is the action but the aunt saw him as the hunter was about to shoot okay it bit it not a bit but it bite him so here is the action from the aunt okay the hunter missed his shoot okay the bird flew away as it was flying away it saw that the lit little aunt was running back into its hole in the ground so like now move towards the exercise now here is some questions like there uh, are four questions like there are some type of fill in the blanks so the story is full of like we have to uh, understand difference between the suspense action lesson fear so here our if if we have a strong vocabulary or we can say a clear understand regarding the words we can easily do easily solve or can do these uh, questions so first question is the story is full of all about the action you can see the story is mainly about wild animal wild creature a hunter the environment so it's all about the environment Third is the underlined sentence, like which underline? This one. You can see this one. Okay. So the underlined sentence uh, of the story keep the readers in hope, horror, suspense, thrill. It's all, uh, all about the suspense. Both the paragraphs of the story are mainly about cruelty on the part of men and innocency of two wild creatures. The story teaches moral that a good deed breeds another good deed. Okay, so here's the five. Another synonyms like uh, there are different words was there like suddenly, fast, drop, climb, saving. So simple synonyms means similar meaning. So suddenly, quickly, okay, fast, speedily, dropped, like throw down, okay, climb, moved up, saving, keep safe from the death. Now antonyms mean different meanings, opposite meanings like blow, above, sinking, rising, a few days late, a few, uh, many, life, death, missed his short, success is short. So these are the activities. Now at the end you have, uh, you have to remember that practice makes the man perfect. Okay, so try to, uh, try to uh, these things in practice so that you will be able, you will be able to comprehend the text very easily.